All right, Coach, thanks for joining us today. Middle way through um, spring ball right now. Give us a little brief about things you're going for you, and then we'll talk to uh, local questions. Uh, it's, been, it's been going pretty well, just trying to uh, maximize the, the technique development as well as... Uh, a little bit, you know, but more importantly, just uh, we've seen a lot of development with some of these younger guys that hadn't played a lot of ball, uh, technique-wise, development, knowledge of the defense, knowledge of scheme, things of, things of that nature. So it's been really good. And, you know, something we've, we've talked about a little bit this spring is, you know, going into year two in the in the program, in the system, you know, you've seen a lot, you know, quicker advancement of, you know, the install and things you want to do this spring? Yeah. Um, it, well, one, it helped uh, having about a month of practice leading up to the uh, to the bowl game. It gave you extra days and reps and turns to do different coverages and defense. Um, but more importantly, I think it expanded the knowledge base of our younger guys. Um, the retention rate's better because, boom, we're doing spring ball within a month after all that. So uh, you're able to jump back in it pretty quickly and throw a lot on the new guys, the transfers and freshmen, um, and kind of force them to learn fast. And, you know, they obviously make some mistakes, but you just you know, keep shoveling at them and see, see what they can retain. You had a lot of guys last year that, you know, was really their first year playing uh, at this level, significant snaps. Um, you know, are, are you expecting and hoping for a huge jump for some of these guys, especially look at like a TJ Bush, Mayan Conway on the, on the front end? Uh, for them to take a significant step into year two? Absolutely. I, I think that is um, – this offseason is probably the most critical offseason for those guys like uh, Bryce Dixon, who, you know, this was his first year of significant time, T.J. Bush. Uh, even Jay Hardy hadn't really played a whole lot of football leading uh, up to this year. Uh, C.J. Bazile, um, obviously you got Joe Carter, you know, he's playing a lot of ball now, Brylon Green, all of those guys – played meaningful, significant snaps, probably in the 400-plus range. Um, that's, you know, they probably never played over 200 plays leading up to that. So this offseason has been good, really good for them, guys developing. And uh, more importantly, the mental aspect of it has it's been, it's been nice. Some of those new guys, what have you seen out of them? Where I think depth. Um, I think that was one of the things that we went into this offseason saying we needed um, so that we didn't have to count on a guy playing five, 600 snaps a year, um, adding depth, quality depth to certain positions. That way you can ease off the load of some of these other guys. And also, it'll make them better in the fourth. Depth. I think Coach Chadwell kind of spotlighted linebacker as one of those mm -hmm. positions you really wanted to add a lot of a lot of depth there. Uh, got a lot of new faces there this spring. How are some of them uh, adapting and adjusting to, to this defense? We've been we've been pleasantly surprised um, with, with Jamar, um, Jamar and uh, Taylor Jackson. Those guys have came in. You can tell they're 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 seasoned guys. They've played a lot of football. Uh, they're vets. Um, so they they've came in and they've added really, really quality depth that can come. Like, you, you can count on those guys just as you could count on the ones. And from a, from a mental standpoint, they can handle more than uh, your traditional freshman can handle. So it's been really good uh, seeing those guys develop. We feel like going into the midway of the spring, we have five, maybe six linebackers that we can play and count on, which is, is really good compared to last year. So. How different would you say it is getting a new freshman accustomed to the defense as opposed to getting a transfer? Whew, extremely different. Um, you know, those guys came from high school where they probably played five calls. And we, you get to college, we install five calls a day. So it, it's, it's drastically different. So you, the young guys are swimming, um, but we're, we're still just trying to work with them on learning the base defenses and play with really good technique. Uh, because they they probably never really did that in high school, depending on where they came from. Um, so, one, you want to see them obviously be physical, play fast, and you know play hard and things of that nature. But you also want to see what they can retain and what is their retention rate. Um, so, yeah, it, it is a major difference from transfers to freshmen for sure. Had a little bit of a scrimmage last week. What were some of the things you were looking to, to get out of that, um, maybe as, as you're watching back the film? Um, really, you wanted to see guys go out there and strike blocks and you know get off blocks and make tackles. Um, we, we kept the call simple just to see if they can 
retain some of the, the, the lower level defense stuff and just play fast and play hard. And that was really what we we're trying to do is technique, fundamentals, and playing hard. If we can get those young guys doing that, we'll be fine. Who's kind of, who you seen kind of step up as a leader? on the defense, like as one of the, the voices that you hear out there, or have you, are you still looking? Which we're still looking. Uh, the guys like Bryce Dixon, TJ Bush, we're, we're, we're looking for those guys to step up. Obviously with Q not being as active in practice, we know he's a leader, we know he can do it, uh, but we're trying to get some other guys involved, especially in the box. Losing Tyron obviously was a major piece that we lost in the leadership category. So we gotta, we gotta cultivate it a little bit and, and kind of get it out of them.